Hey guys, I want to talk to you about why perfect is the enemy of good. So let's talk about it. Don't let perfect be the enemy of good. A lot of us are sitting around waiting for the perfect moment for something. The perfect time to ask someone to marry us. The perfect time to apply for a new job. The perfect time for this. The perfect time for that. The perfect time's never going to happen. We let perfect become an excuse. Generationally, we've looked up to so many of the great, amazing people in our lives even. My grandfather was a retired general in the U.S. Army. My father's the president of a construction company. Who am I? How do I carry on that family name? And that's a hard fight to fight by yourself, you know what I mean? That is a, a difficult proposition in any mindset. So you end up trying to be perfect. You end up trying to live the perfect life, have the perfect house, do all the perfect things. And you end up never doing what you wanted to do. We don't travel, we don't do the things we want because we continually get in the way of ourselves. Well, if I had $1,000 more, I could go to Asia, but I'm not gonna go. If I had this much more, I'd do this. If I had this ability, I'd do that. So we stop ourselves. It's just crazy to think that how much time we waste doing that. This all came from a video with Peter McKinnon and Casey Neistat talking about how they get videos out all the time. Two, three, Casey almost daily blogging for two years or so before he kind of cut back. The idea that perfect is better than good is a fallacy that America has always been teaching. Good is not good enough, you have to be perfect. You gotta drive this nail in. And Casey and Peter talk about, effectively it's a Confucius saying, a diamond with a flaw is better than a pebble without. Make sure you're doing the work you need to do. Make sure you're doing good work, but when it's good, let it go. Don't continue to chase perfect because you're never gonna get there. I wanted to start this YouTube channel a year ago. I could have, I had the camera, I had the lens, I needed a microphone. I could have recorded on my cell phone, man. I got in the way of myself for a year. I can find more love, I can get more money, I can see more places, but I can never buy time and I wasted a year. Wasted a full year. Over what, man? A little bit of self-doubt, the ability to not do something that I should have been doing from the first place. My friends know me as a giant condescending asshole because I'm, I'm honest, I hopefully am funny and honest, but I try to tell it like it is. And I sit here a year further away from the goal that I could have had. Why do we waste time? If you're sitting there watching this and you're waiting for the perfect moment to do something, you are only spending your most valuable commodity for nothing, for fear, for panic. There is no perfect time. The only perfect time is right now because it's the only thing I can't take from you. I can take everything else, but I cannot take that. You have to attack it. Southwest. Generationally right now, I live in a world where people won't drink beer unless it's craft beer, triple hop. People won't buy a house unless it's $300,000 and it's crazy. People won't buy a car unless it's this cool. People won't buy a belt unless it's off-white. People are so busy trying to get the trappings of perfect, whether it's the Instagram lifestyle, whether it's something else that they forget to live in the now and be good enough. Good enough will get you more. Good enough is honest, good enough is earnest, good enough is true, good enough is a truth that anybody can't take from you. You're never gonna be perfect because someone's gonna be better than you at everything and that's okay. It's okay that someone's gonna be better than me at video or photography. It's okay that someone's gonna be better than me at work. It's okay that someone's gonna be better than me everywhere. If I focus on being good, I'm doing the right things and I'm doing them for the right reasons. I'm doing them for the reasons for me, I'm doing them for the reasons to get better, but I am not sacrificing time. Time is, and I mean this quite literally, all we have. So if you're sitting there on the couch and you're not changing your job because you're waiting for the perfect time, stop. Go chase it now. If you're waiting for the perfect time for things, I'm 35. I'm on the spectrum. Uh, I could have been doing this years ago. I've lived in more countries than you may have lived years of your life. And I didn't go further and do more. And I can never get that time back. And I regret it every day because I was too busy letting perfect be the enemy of good. Like I want that tattooed on me. Stop letting perfect be the enemy of good because I, you can go have good things, do good things, be good people and not sit here like this, you know? God, that just eats me up. Even sitting here talking about it to you, it eats me up. Because I know I could have been playing rugby for Ohio State or I could have been a doctor. I was too busy saying I couldn't. I can't. 
I'm not perfect for it. Anything anybody's perfect for? Are we all just getting by on this? I don't know. Just do me a favor. Next time you're at a restaurant and the steak comes and it's good, don't complain it's not perfect. Next time you download a song and it just gets you hype, but it's not the deepest words, don't complain it's not perfect. If you stand in the sunlight enough, you'll feel its warmth and you won't have to worry that I could have had a better day. You had a great one. Stop worrying about perfect. You'll have so many more highs and so many less lows. You'll not feel like I do sometimes on some things because of it. So if I can give you any advice, any at all, Stop letting perfect be the enemy of your good. Maybe you can find out that you've already got something great. If you like this message, if you want to hear more of me talking, if you want to do anything like that, do me a couple favors. One, subscribe. I'll put the link down below. There's a little red box over here. Subscribe to the channel. I can make more videos. You can get some alerts and I can talk to you about other things that are in my life. Two, like the video. The likes get it seen by more people. Not just clickbait, but actual likes, so I appreciate that. Leave a comment. Are you a perfectionist? Do you let perfect get in the way of what you do and you being a better person? What's the one thing you never did because you said, I'm only gonna do it when it's perfect? Leave that comment down below. And I'll catch you later, y'all.